Hertz adds Tesla Model Y to its fleet after giant deal for 100,000 Model 3s. Do you see that number? Can you imagine buying 100,000 Model 3s? Good Lord. That the uh, process of even mm -hmm. like putting this deal together, how many hands you got to shake, how many trips you got to take, how many golf games you need to play. Yes, many golf games. <sighs> it's uh, it's a big deal. And then you got to believe that they can deliver. They've had trouble delivering, especially at that level. Hertz has decided to add the Tesla Model Y to its growing electric vehicle fleet after announcing a deal to buy 100,000 Model 3 vehicles last year. Last year, Hertz announced an important effort to electrify its fleet of rental cars led by a massive purchase of 100,000 Tesla Model 3 vehicles. The news sent Tesla's stock to record highs. Despite some confusion around the agreement, Tesla didn't offer any deal to Hertz, and the rental company has yet to order the electric vehicles like any other customer. The biggest question has been timeline. Hertz said that it was planning to take deliveries of the 100,000 Model 3s by the end of 2022. Tesla wasn't so sure that it would be possible, but Hertz has already been taking a lot of deliveries, and the automaker is still guiding deliveries of the new Model 3 orders by end of the year. We'll see. That's a lot of vehicles, and there's a lot of people waiting. We'll see if that actually ends up happening, but it is an enormous order. And uh, anyway, I guess they're satisfied enough to look at another order for the Model Y to go with the Model 3. Yeah. They're quite similar, though. I don't know. I guess it's a seven-seater, the Y. It's a little bit bigger, but... I feel like there's too much crossover with all of Tesla's vehicles. I put so much hockey gear in the Model S. I was like, wait, this thing is, there's tons of cargo here. Mm. And then I guess they figure out a way to jam extra seats into the Y, but then you give up your trunk. I guess it's a little bit more capable in uh, inclement weather, mm. but they, it's not distinctive shapes. I mean, some people might like that, that they all, it's like, look so similar. Yeah. But you need to take an, a prolonged glance at those things on the road to tell which one it is. Yes. Yeah, I always get confused with the Y and the X. They they for, for a long time, they look similar until you see the doors. Yes. And then you realize, oh, you got the traditional doors. You're like, that's a Model Y. Mm -hmm. Well, congrats, Hertz. Congrats, Hertz. You did it. You've been electrified. Ford F-150 Lightning gets an EPA-confirmed range of up to 320 miles, although the base model will get 230. You'll be waiting a long time to buy the base model, I'm sure. Mm. Uh, you know, they, they just like everybody else, they try to prioritize the higher profit margin vehicles that have more options on them, just like Tesla's doing with the self-driving or the performance or whatever else. Mm-hmm. Um, the crazy part with this one is the price. The base model starts at thirty nine nine seven four. That is so cheap. Easy, well, <laughs> <laughs> well, comparing to Rivian or other pickups. Yes, yes, EVs. you're absolutely correct. Uh, uh, but that one only gets two thirty miles of range. The extended yes. range version starts in the mid fifty thousands and can go three hundred twenty miles, and that's twenty additional miles from what people originally expected. I guess at one point they said it'll be around three hundred. Mm. Uh, these numbers come courtesy of U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, which tested the seven variations of the F-150 Lightning and Lightning Pro. The test revealed that the extended range versions of the truck, the Pro ER, XLT ER, Lariat ER, and Platinum Editions, were able to get around 20 more miles than Ford's original estimates. Well, that's a bonus. That's No one's going to be complaining yet about getting extra range, but you know the one I'm waiting for, Will, the Electric Raptor. Yes. That's the one I will be looking for, and that's not happening anytime soon, from what I can tell. Yeah. You don't have any Bronco updates, do you? Somebody just asked in the chat. No. Nothing? Okay. Still waiting. Your uh, emotions are identical to what they were in the past, or more or less? Um, Maybe a little less. It's a bit wavered. Because <laughs> I need a car, like, soon. It's not Why? A, it's Why not do you need it so soon? Um, I'm just curious. I think uh, camping season is Whoa. coming up. Oh, you're a big camper like to, this year? Yeah. Really? <laughs> camper this year? Yeah. I, yeah, I'm I just asking. Like to, I mean, it sounds like you're prepared, like you have plans. Yeah. My other car is quite small. Would so. you uh, be camping with friends, family, Otis? What would you be doing? Yeah. All of the above. All of the above. Maybe solo camping as well. 
No Otis. Uh, maybe with Otis. Oh, Otis. Yeah. Solo plus Otis. Yeah. Gotcha. Uh, 